and you made his whole story out. And um, it was an afterthought to help the yeah. artist. And the uh, and uh, he came up with with this uh, grotesque seascape inspired by the album. And is it also, who is who is Venus? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's this one here. Okay. Um, or maybe maybe they're all Venus. Yeah, they're pretty similar. The goddess of love. Yeah. <laughs> These are all Venuses in different states of uh, of our life or something like that. But you just you gave this. Um, you gave this. Uh, you sent this this this, this the, uh, message and the story to the the artist, and this is what he came out. It was a Japanese. Yeah, guy. we had to um, talk to him through a lawyer, and an interpreter. Through a lawyer. And an interpreter. It was very complicated. Oh, okay. And, uh, but we were, we were very happy with the. How did you get in touch up? with uh, with this guy? Well, we knew his work. We toured a lot in Japan, and. One of the great things about touring is you get exposed to random culture and uh, I bought some books of his um, 1960s poster, silkscreen poster work and it was incredible stuff, you know, and we kind of tracked him down. Well, what's his name again? He's called Kichi Tanami. Kichi Tanami? Yeah, maybe his name's on the cover somewhere. Uh, it's, um, yeah. Kitcha Tanami, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you already knew his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what, what did he, uh, what did he make? Uh, I think. In, was he? I think he was famous in Japan for maybe being the first artist to publicly confess to taking LSD. Okay. And uh, he spent time in the factory with Andy Warhol and in San Francisco watching The Grateful Dead. And he returned to Japan. He made lots of graphic work. He, he worked for a lot of magazines and made lots of posters and psychedelic installations. Um, and I think then he became a professor of graphic art. And uh, it coincided. I think with the first pizza parlor opening in Tokyo in the 60s. So I used to go to the pizza parlor and order pizzas and look at all the toppings on the mozzarella and have a <laughs> psychedelic experience. <laughs> and, uh, okay. And uh, yeah. was was there uh, was there uh, like a, a hippie scene in the in, in Tokyo in the 60s? You know that? Yeah and. I think there's a very strong culture of acid commune music in in uh, Japan still. Yeah, there's okay. lots of bands like Acid Mother's Temple and Ghost and all these hippie bands going on. I think they've got lots of mushrooms growing in the north on the okay. Northern Island. I've got a few friends who've moved there from Wales. They to just, Japan? To Japan. They live in the Hokkaido in the north. They just hang out and take mushrooms. <laughs> and, uh, so it's, it's a good life over there? They have an amazing life. <laughs> Sounds good. I can't handle the mushrooms so much. No? Uh, no. Not too much? or? Well, they grow in Wales on the school field, you know. Oh, okay. And, uh, it's maybe part of the culture, but... Yeah. It, only in small doses. Yeah.